Heidi ho neighbor, Mark Johnston here. I do STEM education. I'm super excited to bring you this video on the encoded message for VEX VR. It's a brand new playground and it's pretty cool. We're gonna be able to take binary numbers and turn them into an actual word. So without further ado, let's go on and get into it. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where it isn't. And arriving at a position where it wasn't, it now is. All right, here we are at vr.vex.com, and you can see that I've already opened up the playground right there. I clicked on that, and I have pulled this uh, drop down and went to the encoded message. So awesome. We have 15 playgrounds to choose from now. So awesome. All right, and let's take a look at the playground. Let's kind of analyze this for a second. We noticed that we have some, like, five columns here with... Looks like eight rows. And each of these rows are labeled with this number, like a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Hmm, think about the relationship of those numbers. They're all divisible by something. Each one is like double the next. Hmm, could be useful information, but uh, let's start out by just printing out what those number values are. Okay, I think that'll be uh, a good thing to do. Uh, now we got eight of them, uh, so let's just print those off to the to the right uh, over here in the under monitor and then in the console. All right, so I'll have my robot drive forward for two hundred millimeters, and then I want it to to determine if it is green. I want it to print a one. And if it's blue, I want it to print a zero. So I got to pick green or blue. Uh, since green is the one, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to put this if else statement here. And then I'm going to go to sensing. And I'm going to go to eye sensing. So it's looking down. And if the down eye, let me zoom in a little bit. The down eye is detecting green. I'm going to looks and I'm going to have it print a one. All right, there we go. Um, but if it detects not green, I'm going to have it print a zero. Easy enough, right? Let's see what happens. I'm going to push play. It goes up 200 and it got a zero. Perfect. All right, now I just need to do that a few more times. So I'm going to duplicate this. And why would I do that? Why would I just keep duplicating? I can just do a repeat. So I'll go to control and I'll say repeat and it's eight. So I'll repeat it eight times. Let's reset and play. Okay, zero. Oh, notice I got a zero, zero. I'm gonna go ahead and click clear down here next to me. I'll click clear, I'm gonna reset this and Go ahead and click play. Zero, okay. One, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Now I'm gonna tell you this, and may not make quite may not make a ton of sense right now, and that's okay. Um, what we're looking at is a binary number, but it's backwards. So it's actually should be this binary number should be zero one zero one zero one one zero, not zero one one zero one. Zero, one, zero. It's a different number um, and it's backwards. So if I really wanted to print this out the correct way, I could have the robot drive all the way up and then start up here and then print this one first and then go in reverse and then print this one and then do it that way. But I don't actually care about the order of the number because I'm going to add it up. All right. Now, I'm not going to just add it up like one plus one is two plus one is three plus one is four. Then I get like four, right? Each of these, depending upon where these ones are, they have different values. So this one right here is actually worth two. This one right here is worth a four. This one is worth a 16. This one is worth a 64. 
And so I want to add those up because that's going to give me the decimal number. Okay, see, we have a binary number right now. We need to turn it into a decimal number. And I can get into the whole base 2, base 10, base 16 um, stuff, which is also known as binary, decimal, and hexadecimal um, in a later video. But for right now, I just want you to know that each of these ones has uh, is representing a certain value. All right, so when I go there, I want it to add it up. And then I want it to, I don't want it to print this binary number. I want it to print the decimal number, the full added up number. For this video, I'm not going to make it repeat um, for that. I'm just gonna, I am gonna just copy a bunch of if statements. So let's kind of start from the beginning. Okay, I do know that I want the robot to drive forward for 200. And then if the down eye detects green, I want it to add up the value of it, okay? But I need it to put that value somewhere. So I'm gonna create a variable. There's already a variable here called my variable. So I'll right click on it and say rename. And I'm gonna call this the DEC, the decimal value. Okay, decimal value and submit. All right, so in the very beginning, I wanna set my decimal value to zero. I just wanna make sure that it starts out at zero. And there's another reason for this, It'll be more clear in a second. And then if it detects green, I want it to set the value and I want it to use uh, addition. So I'm gonna say this green operator, addition. I'll go back to variables and click here. So this might look kind of funny, right? Because what I'm doing is I'm saying set decimal value to decimal value plus in the first one, it's going to be a one. Okay. I have to do it that way um, in order to add it back to whatever it is. Okay. So just bear with me for a minute. I'm going to duplicate this and put it here. Oops. Actually, I'm going to duplicate from this drive forward. So then we're gonna drive forward to the next box. And if it detects a green, we're gonna say decimal value plus two, because that second box right there has a value of two. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this again, but all of those. And then I'm gonna add a value of four, that was the next one, and a value of eight, that was the next one. Now, look at this little checkbox next, uh, next to our variable right here. I'm gonna check that. And when that's checked, it's gonna then show me what's going on over here. Let me clear this uh, console. Let's go ahead and click play. Now I'm just adding up to here, right? So if the robot works correctly, it should not do anything here because it's not green, so it won't add that. It should add two to decimal value when it gets here. And then it goes up here, it should add four to it, which would give us six. And then if it goes up here to eight, it should add eight to, well, it shouldn't add anything to it because it's a zero. So let's push play and see what happens. Decimal value should go up to two. Ah, there it goes to six. Perfect. I'm just gonna need to do that all the way up to the very top. So I am going to duplicate from here. Ugh. There we go, that's a lot, right? So then it goes to, to eight, and then it goes to 16, and then it goes to 32, 64, and then 128. All right, just like that. Now, if I push play, I should get the total value. Let's restart and play. All right, two, six, oop, 22, oop, 86, 86. All right, if you click on activities, activities will take you to this page. And you can scroll down and find encoded message, click on that, and then it will take you to this activity for encoded message. Let's scroll down to the second page and here is our encoder chart, our chart to tell us what each of these numbers actually means. Look at 86, 86 is a V. Cool, we're well on our way. 
we go back to the message here, I could just add this up, right? I could say that one is a one, that four is a four, so that's five, and then I could add uh, five plus 32 is 37 plus 64, uh, 64 and 37. No, it, uh, I, I don't want to do, why would I want to do that? I got a computer program right here that'll do it for me. It'll add it up for me. So I just need to get this guy, this robot, to go over to the next column, drive all the way up there, and add it up for me. All right, so let's get it to do that. All right, let me pull this down here. And I'm going to zoom out so I can see kind of all of this code at once. All right, I'm going to want to repeat this. But before I repeat it, I want the robot to go to the next row. So in order to do that, I'm gonna get the robot. First of all, it needs to drive in reverse to go all the way back, and that's 1600 millimeters. Then I'm gonna have him turn right for 90, drive forward, and that next row is actually like two boxes over, so it's gonna be 400. Then I'm gonna turn left for 90. There we go, left for 90. And now it's pointed in the correct direction. Uh, I do want it to print the value of whatever that is, right? So I'll go to looks and say print because we're going to have to clear this variable. We're going to have to clear it so that it can use it again for this next row. But before it clears it, I want it to print out what it is. So notice I used the little print and then I went to my variables and I dragged the variable. So whatever it is, is going to put it there. Then I also want to go back to looks and say set cursor to next row because I want it to print it, you know, that 86 and then I want it to print the next one and then the next one. So I think we're ready to repeat this whole thing. I want to zoom out again, make this easier. I'm going to put a repeat here. And then again, just to make this easier, I'm going to drag it from here, this whole thing. When it gets to the top, I do want it to reset that variable to zero, okay? Because then I needed to add up all the stuff for that row. I'm going to repeat this five times, just in case I have five letters. And let's, let's push play, see what happens. Reset and play. And I'm going to run into an issue here. It's not going to print this last value because of where I told it to print. And the robot's having a hard time getting to where I told it to go. So um, if we really wanted to make it uh, work for all of the all of the different uh, encoded messages, because look, there's a bunch of them. I need to just change this real quick. So what I'll do is go down here. And before it starts going to the next row... I'll just have it print that way on the last one, even though it's going to be running into the wall, it's fine. Cause I'll still have the information that I need, but let's look at this now, 86, 69, 88. And then the last two are zero. So I'm okay on this message. Let's go to our little decoder thing. Okay. Our first one was 86. So we have a V. Our next one was 69, so we have an E. And then the next one was an 88, so we have an X. V-E-X. Vex. That's pretty cool. That's our coded message. If we go back to uh, our program here, uh, and we look at the playground, because we went, you know, we traveled the whole thing, this little magic wand is now available. If I click on it, it tells me the answer, 86, 69, 88, VEX. I did it, got it, cool. All right, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. If I click on this little location button and I go to B, I can press play and let's see it add up those values. All right, that first one is 71, it looks like. All right, and at this point, I'm going to stop it here. 
I really hope that you enjoyed this um, and you'll join me in the next one. And if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate a like and you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. And then now you can become a member. For only $2 a month, you can get access to videos just like this one a whole day before anybody else gets to see them. You also get a few other little perks. If you have any questions, ask me in the community tab. But I uh, love you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.